going on, Jerome's? It is Friday. There's a lot of news and happenings and goings on around the league, so we decided to just package it all together. Friday news dump. What's going around? Uh, it's going on around the National Football League. So the Jets, J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. So they parted ways with Michael Lafleur, uh, the 12 year old boy's brother. Whatever. Uh, Lafleur is apparently going to join up with Sean McVay as the Rams OC. That's breaking right now. And they hired Nathaniel Hackett. Yes, failed. Didn't even make it through one season. Uh, with the Denver Broncos, had one of the worst offenses in NFL history last year. Russell Wilson let Russ cook. He burned the place down. And Hackett, whose claim to fame is like, hey, we had a good offense with the Jaguars once and Blake Bordelais. Cool. Uh, but, of course, we all know what, what's happening. We're the Jets. They have one of the best defenses in the league. They have weapons all over the place on offense. And now they're laying the groundwork for Bagown. That's Rogers music. That's exactly what's happening. You know it. I know it. Uh, the American people know it. So the Packers are, I, I say it's like 95% that they're going to part ways with Rogers this offseason, punt on that stupid contract, and they probably won't even get much back for him. Like they may get like a second or third round pick. It's not going to be a lot. Because remember, Favre got traded to the Jets for like a fourth round pick. And no, no, Rogers is not taking the next step uh, in the far progression. No, ain't happening. But I mean, Rogers with the Jets, I mean, could he distribute the football? I mean, could he actually get uh, Garrett Wilson the rock? I mean, it's possible. Uh, who, who really knows? But uh, what's interesting is, so A, the Jets hiring Hackett, th they ain't doing that for Zach Wilson. And B, Nathaniel Hackett is still getting paid by the Broncos. And he can't double dip. So whatever he's getting paid by the Jets, it's going to offset what the Broncos owe him. So he's not making any extra dollars. But So he's getting off the couch, putting his reputation uh, back on the line again. And you think he's going to do that for Zach Wilson or Mike White? No. No. Because so we, we know it's happening. 100% happening. Also happening is the Carolina Panthers. Uh, they hired Frank Reich as their new head coach. Now Reich uh, was punted by the Colts for you know, dubious reasons, whatever. I, I do think that Frank Reich is a good coach, uh, but we're just caught up in the the whatever uh, with the Colts. And also, it, it does come full circle because Frank Reich, when the Panthers entered the league as an expansion team uh, back in the day, uh, he was the first quarterback. Like, uh, he, he went from Buffalo Bills back up to uh, Pan uh, a Panthers starting uh, quarterback through the first touchdown in franchise history. Here's him with Sam Mills, rest in power, you know, the whole key pounding thing. So overall, I, I think it is a good hire. Now they, now they just have to find their future franchise quarterback and then pair him with Riker long term. Uh, I think it, it could be super interesting. And Steve Wilkes, who was the interim head coach after Matt Rule was fired, went six and six, almost dragged uh, this team to the playoffs. I had a very classy uh, goodbye to Panthers fans and. Wilkes isn't going to be out of work for long. Uh, I, I think that the Vikings should 100% be in on Steve Wilkes. I think they should add him to the defensive coordinator uh, search, uh, but we're going to do a full video on that separately. But, yeah, Steve Wilkes, uh, highly respected, a good man, and he he's going to find a job very quickly. Uh, someone who's not going to get a head coaching job very quickly, Dan Quinn. So for the second offseason in a row, Dan Quinn uh, apparently is not going to be getting a head coaching job. So DQ uh, took his name out of the running. Uh, he had interviewed with a number of the openings, uh, but just, didn't work out or maybe he just realized that he wasn't going to get the job is what it is uh, but the former Falcons head coach and winner of like three quarters of a Super Bowl uh, is going to remain on with the, the Cowboys and Mike McCarthy also it's interesting it's interesting that Mike McCarthy wasn't like fully on board with Kellen Moore uh, being back as offensive coordinator so Kellen Moore I mean he was a finalist for the Panthers job and now he could just lose his OC job coaching's funny Kind of stupid, but uh, also uh, funny and kind of stupid. Uh, actually, not funny at all. Uh, the Panthers are no longer an opposite for Sean Payton, and there was an issue with, with Payton's interview with the Broncos. Payton likes the idea of coaching Russell Wilson, having that defense, but fears a potential power struggle with a member of the ownership group, source says, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so right now, I mean, there's, there's also talk that Sean Payton may not even get a head coaching job this cycle, which... It's his prerogative, and also, uh, you know, the team that would bring aboard Sean Payton would have to part with a first-round pick in all likelihood to the Saints to get his rights. Plus, it's reported that he's looking for $20, 25000000 million per year, which would clearly make him the highest-paid coach in the league. Uh, so, I mean, do the Cardinals want to do that? Do the Texans want to do that? Colts? Certainly not. Um, so, we'll, well, I mean, it's really up in the air. Like, it's very possible that Sean Payton is just sitting out for another year, bides his time, sees what openings are there next offseason, uh, and then go from there. Uh, but as of right now, so the Cardinals, they do seem to be a quasi-favorite for Sean Payton. Uh, also, it's uh, talked about that Vance Joseph of Vance Refrigeration uh, is, it, it, 
I, I missed that joke. Like Vance Joseph was the head coach for the Broncos for a hot second, uh, but very respected defensive mind. Uh, I, I think that uh, it, it's been talked about that Peyton and Joseph are the finalists there. Brian Flores is also in the mix. I mean, basically, they spread a wide net. And now they're starting to narrow things down uh, with their new GM, Monty Austinfort. And then let's see what else here. All right, so Fel, uh, Panthers, that job is filled. Broncos. Uh, so the talk right now is that the two finalists uh, for the Broncos job are D'Amico Ryans as well as uh, David Shaw, a former Stanford head coach. Uh, so I, I think that it'll be telling. So if the Niners win, if the Niners beat the Eagles, uh, they, they can't make uh, – D'Amico uh, Ryan's official hire until a- after the Niners are eliminated. So I think if this thing drags on, it's clearly going to be D'Amico Ryan's because they could hire David Shaw right now since uh, he uh, is uh, the former Stanford head coach. And I think Shaw is a respected leader. Uh, I think D'Amico Ryan's uh, would have a lot to work with on the defense side of the ball with the Broncos, you know, with Patrick Sertain and Justin Simmons and company. So, I mean, it's really attractive either way. Uh, but but we'll see what happens there. Texans, I, I, I've already said this. I think the Texans is the worst job. Despite having $40 million in cap space and the 2 and 12 overall picks uh, in this year's draft, your GM has literally – this is his third head coach in three seasons. And ownership is sort of dubious, sort of whatever there. But I don't know. Like, does Sean Payton want to land here? Probably not. D'Amico Ryans, of course, was a great Texans linebacker from back in the day, but is this a plum job? Uh, Avero has gotten some interest. Kafka uh, continues to be brought up there. Uh, also brought in for a second interview. Same thing with Avero. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And the Colts. Uh, so, the Colts, with uh, Avero has been brought in for a second interview, and it does seem like Ursay wants a role with Jeff Saturday, which... I don't know. Like, if Saturday maybe gets a chance to choose his own staff... Maybe, but bro, you went one and seven. The only team you beat was the Raiders. You blew a 33 point lead against the Vikings. Um, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know if that's going to work out. So uh, we shall see there. But uh, that's it. Uh, that's recapping some of the stories from around the league. Uh, just Friday news dump. Oh, this is happening, by the way. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.